Hello, and thanks for joining me, Phil Spencer, for this latest Move IQ episode, where I'm going to reveal the cheapest places to rent in England. Whether you are currently renting or planning to, make sure that you visit the Move IQ website. There's a link below to our dedicated section for tenants, which is packed with advice, expert know-how, and essential guides. Did you know that the median monthly rent in England now stands at 700 pounds? This varies hugely, of course, with the size of the property, but the location makes a massive difference. In fact, the difference between the most expensive postcodes and the cheapest is over a thousand pounds a month. It is, of course, no surprise that London districts take the top spot for high rents, while the northeast of England offers the best bargains. Later on, I'm going to be revealing the most affordable London areas to rent in, but let's kick off with the cheapest rental towns in England. Ashington in Northumberland, Hartlepool, Bridlington, Hull, and the market town of Keeley near Bradford all offer average monthly rentals in the region of just £400. That compares with a median rent in London of over a thousand four hundred pounds a month. At number five in our affordability countdown is Burnley in Lancashire, where the double B11 postcode offers rentals of just three hundred and ninety-four pounds a month. It's not just an average rent of three hundred and eighty-seven pounds that Willington in Derbyshire has to shout about. The village there is rich in wildlife and heritage and is part of the stunning Peak District. The top three spots in our list are all in County Durham. The DL14 postcode covers the market town of Bishop Auckland, home to Auckland Castle and Great Walking. Here the average rent is just £377. You can pay the same in Ferry Hill, a great choice if you're looking for a cheap rural area. And the lowest rental in England can be found in Shildon, just 13 miles outside of Durham. It's the most affordable town both to rent and buy in, and the average you'll pay in the DL4 postcode is just £376 a month. Of course, we can't all move to the wide open spaces of the Northeast. Many still need to be close to the capital for work. So, what can you do if London's calling? Well, there are places where you'll be able to shave a significant amount from that average of over £1,400. Barking and Dagenham, for instance, boasts medium monthly rents of 1260 with one bedroom properties available for just under a grand a month. In Havering, a one bed place averages 863 a month, while over in Bexley, single bedroom properties are around £820 a month and the median asking rent is around £1,150, which makes Bexley the bargain capital of Greater London. You heard it here first. That's it for our rental revelations. Do give us a like and join me again next time. Please don't forget to click the link to visit Move IQ and discover a world of advice for renters. Good luck and I'll see you next time.